All right, I'm going to try something a little different here. I'm actually starting from the end, and I'm going to work my way back because I have this working right now. This is Q Radio Link. Radio Link. Let me mute it a second here. This is Q Radio Link uh, running on the Intel NUC at a remote location with an AirSpy uh, R2 plugged in. And then, so that's the desktop that you're looking at. Just doing that so you can visualize what's going on here. But <clears throat> the audio is uh, coming over a VoIP server uh, to my local location here. Okay, so this is my local location here. I'm also connected to the VoIP server. And I have the... Pluto SDR configured and it is transmitting right now anything that comes over the VoIP server and is then playing back on my end so you can see I'm not receiving anything I'm actually using a um, Bofang radio here I've got tuned to so I'm receiving on like uh, whatever it was hundred and some megahertz and then I'm transmitting just on 433 right here in a small little area here um, and so if I unmute this, if I unmute this, problem is you're going to hear it both coming from the speakers on the laptop here locally, but it's also coming out of the Bofang. So I know the audio <laughs> doesn't sound that great right now because I'm still messing with this, but it just shows that the Pluto SDR is retransmitting uh, what you are seeing here that I'm receiving remotely. So you can kind of set up a repeater thing there. You can set up Q Radio <coughs> and other other conf excuse me <coughs> and other configurations here um, as far as uh, receiving and trans transmitting uh, on the Pluto itself over to another radio and so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, that's uh, kind of, uh, I think, a unique way to use the AirSpy remotely, send the what's being received over the VoIP server, and then uh, <coughs> broadcasting it here locally with the Pluto SDR. So let's, let's take a step back and start from the beginning here. If I close out of... Uh, Q radio link here. Let's see, I was kind of messing with a few things here. All right, so I closed out of uh, Q radio link. This is on the remote end. I'll close out on the local end. And then we'll take a step through this and see how this uh, how this works. <coughs> Real quick though, we'll look at the local end. What is Q Radio Link here? It's a multi-mode analog and digital transceiver application uh, using the internet for radio to VoIP bridging. And uh, what I think is cool is built on top of a new radio. So everything is installed in DragonOS to include the uh, VoIP server you saw a minute ago. Now I encourage you to take a look at the about page, or sorry, the support page, pay attention to the GNU Radio 3.8 uh, little notice here, although I'm not seeing this really affect Dragon OS, uh, but just pay attention there. You might need to do that if you want to use digital modes. Uh, also encourage using Volt Profile. Anyways, um, when you install Dragon OS, probably help you uh, get a little performance boost out of GNU Radio. There's a lot of uh, operational or operation guide settings here, but um, and that's all on QRadioLink.org. But uh, let's let's start from the beginning here. So we'll come back over to the remote end. There is a configuration file in Dragon OS Focal located at this directory, and you can see it's using the default uh, certain keys, max bandwidth. Could probably um, bump it up a little bit. Maybe that would uh, maybe that would improve audio. Let's just 
raise that up some. Uh, the bind and port IP addresses, uh, log files, so on and so forth. You can set all this up. I've just left it at default right now. And if you want to edit it, you need to be sudo. Let's see. And so you'd run it uh, just like this, which I've already got it running. That'll be in the background. So remember to kill that if you need to. Right here. And I'm using zero tier on here, which I've talked about before. So it's kind of a secure connection without port forwarding or anything at the remote network uh, to my local network here. Uh, I encourage, although there is a shortcut to Q Radio Link under Other, uh, to first start it up via the terminal so you can see if anything's going wrong. Uh, also, well, if you're watching this video and you're not fast forwarding, you'll notice uh, GQRX, uh, I messed up the shortcut. So, anyways, it's a side note if you want to start that. Start it from the terminal until I fix that little thing and a, maybe a small little update. Alright, anyways. We're going to start Q Radio Link uh, because it's sitting here compiled. We'll start it on the remote end. And first off, <clears throat> we'll take a look at setup under general settings. And I had to change the RX device arcs. Uh, I use Soapy. It didn't seem to like uh, the GR Osmo uh, SDR, so I have. Uh, configured like you see here. Make sure you specify a different uh, call sign on uh, anything that's going to connect to the VoIP server. It's got to be different. So I just left the call here and in the local end I got call 2. That would ideally be a real call sign. Uh, I didn't mess with anything other than I tried to bump the VoIP rate up a little bit, which I can see it only goes to 48 anyway, so I don't think it will make that any better uh, audio compressor I could probably try mumble uh, might have a better audio quality than what you heard a little bit ago it's another server uh, might do that uh, add that in the future anyways uh, base station if we connect here it's all default uh, settings uh, this is uh, of course the remote end so it's running on itself there port number We'll take a look at the spectrum here. You can see some of the settings. Really, all I'm going to do is start receiving. And the Air Spy, you can see the gain controls uh, are available here. LNA mix, and I think it's a VGA. So uh, you don't hear any audio on that because it's on the remote end, but you tune to the frequency here. I got narrow FM. I didn't try any of the uh, other modes yet here, uh, any of the digital or there's even video. Um, I didn't try any of that yet, but the same should apply. So the base station, let's forward the radio, and then we'll jump over to the local end. This is the IP address. It's private, it's not public uh, for the zero tier network, so I'll make note of that. Start up Q Radio Link on this end. And on this end, uh, if I didn't already point it out, I've got the Pluto information here under the transmit. Got call 2. Uh, wipe rate, try audio compressor. I didn't change the frequency, it, so essentially I'm receiving on one fr frequency over the internet, sending the audio, and then transmitting it on another frequency. Uh, mind uh, that uh, you really need a license when transmitting. This is uh, a very small closed loop little thing here, minus the uh, Bofang radio that's receiving that's literally sitting uh, right next to the uh, Pluto. It's not really going to go much further than that. Uh, let's see. I do have it on duplex mode right now. I don't know that that really affects anything. 
so we'll connect to the server I've got the zero tier uh, IP address there port number we'll connect if I come down here so that audio that that audio that you hear is just coming out of the laptop speakers itself but if I hit uh, transmit here I'm over and hit turn the push to talk on I'm looking over at my Bofang which is lighting up and we'll see if we get any more audio but uh, that's why I kind of recorded it it was actually happening. Let's take a look at the remote end again. There we go. So so you know I'm probably not doing this uh, justice here. I'm sure there's other settings and <laughs> wait other settings um, that can that can be adjusted uh, to make that a little clearer again this is okay I think we get the point but um, so yeah I thought that was a, a pretty unique uh, I've shown Q radio link in the past but I didn't get uh, that far into the setup where I was actually uh, retransmitting uh, the signal uh, in this case with the Pluto and then over to a handheld Bofang radio so uh, I'm going to continue to play with this, tweak this and uh, get this audio quality uh, even better, learn a little more about some of these other settings and uh, yeah there's a lot more that uh, Q Radio Link can do so I at least wanted to touch on these few things here so alright thanks have a good one